So super interesting what he was telling us about the statue behind us. I won't go so much into the history, but essentially to welcome people to Girona, you went and kissed the ass of the, the lioness statue. Probably the strangest welcome to a city that I've ever heard of, but it's very superstitious here and then that's what they do. Kia ora, hello. If you are new around here, we are Matt and Ash, a couple of Kiwis from New Zealand currently living and working in Singapore. Welcome to our new series where we touch down in the beautiful country of Spain. Here we will dive into the history, culture and of course some delicious food as we travel to the country's most incredible places. In this episode we head to the medieval city of Girona. This place is literally like going back a thousand years in time. Beautiful cobblestone streets, huge city walls and the incredible Jewish quarter. In fact, Girona is so well preserved in time that Game of Thrones was filmed here so that they didn't have to CGI many of the scenes. So Matt and I decided to take the short train ride from Barcelona to check it all out. We were left speechless. Good morning. It's from a new city. Welcome to Girona. We are starting things off here with a coffee. It's a little bit colder here. It's a little bit cold and Ash decided it was a good day to wear a dress. But it does. It's supposed to get hotter. Yeah. We are meeting here with a local who's going to give us a walking tour of the city and that's how we're going to kick things off today. Exciting. me here. I am learning a lot. Again, I don't absorb history as much as Matt does, but um, it's real interesting. It's nice and quiet in the streets of Girona. They haven't had that many tourists, although Christian was saying that they have had a few tourists from Singapore recently, so I think that's down to our vaccinated travel lanes, but just really cute and quaint cobblestones and history. Um, so we're excited to see the rest of the city. <laughs> so we've been trialing different like pictures to put in our thumbnails for, for our YouTube things and I hate posing like I, I don't like photos and I don't like posing and all that sort of stuff but I tried one today of, of trying to make it look like I was doing like some sort of like intense pose like looking at the scenery look or something like that and I've and I've butchered it and it looks <laughs> it looks ridiculous you need to have a, look. a bit embarrassing but hey that's what YouTube's all for. Put it out there. Embarrass yourself. It might be on the blooper screen. So we're at one of the sites where Game of Thrones was filmed. Oh, so that's so up it was there. used as a theatre space. Okay. So in these scenes, Arya Stark is watching the play that depicts the beheading of her father, Ned Stark. No spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> no spoilers. So Game of Thrones were here in September 2015 blocked off the streets of the old town for two weeks while they were wow. filming which caused a bit of upset with the locals as you may imagine yeah. there you go game of thrones fans i'm going to go on a limb and say that ash and i are not big fans <laughs> to the point where i've probably seen about two episodes i think i've seen two minutes <laughs> um so don't get all hating on us it's just not our scene but maybe we might have to watch it now that we know it's been filmed i think we could probably watch it. Do you not think? It's definitely not your cup of tea. I, I want to give it a go. A, I know that for a fact, but I, I can probably sit through it. I want to give it a go. Check in with me in a year. <laughs> <laughs> As we continued our walking tour with Christian, he showed us a lot of the filming locations and how they were depicted in the series. It was remarkable how little CGI had to be done to make these places look medieval. So here you go, Game of Thrones fans. Here's a little montage of the locations for you. jumps down from the building here on the right. Down on the steps. So we're just walking through the Jewish quarter of Girona now and it is the best preserved Jewish quarter in all of Europe. Long story short, when the Jews were here, 
in many cities around Spain and Girona included they were banished to a particular area in the city and usually that was next to the cathedral in the hope that the daily sight of the cathedral would make them convert to Christianity anyway they didn't and then later on during the period of time where I forget the name of it now but the Jews were ban banned from Spain they left here and the Jewish quarter then just became deserted and the Christians built on top of it and then during an archaeological dig they found some of the Jewish quarter here many centuries on and they dug down and they found all of these preserved streets that were intact because all that happened was the Christians built on top of them so they excavated it all and left the district as it is so now it's probably the best preserved Jewish quarter in all of Spain for that very reason. They had small gardens to the rear of the property so they could keep animals and grow fruit and vegetables and they were shopkeepers and tradespeople of all different types so cotton merchants, silversmiths, bookkeepers, money lenders. The Christians came into the Jewish quarter to trade with them but the Jewish people were not allowed to leave at any time. This point would have been gated, policed and monitored. If a Jewish person crossed this line, that would mean certain death. As we continued on the walking tour, we passed a few more important sites that make Girona so iconic. First up, it was Europe's smallest square. So we are standing in the smallest square in the world, where they used to have a little market set up, sell some fruit, vegetables, cheese. There you go. Then we pass Lance Armstrong's former house. The cyclist over here. So I'm a massive cycling fan and while I disagree with everything he stands for, he's still an important figure in the sport and we're standing underneath the building that Lance Armstrong lived in when he was a cyclist here. So a bit of a historic place if you're into the sport or if you're into any of that sort of scandal that he created. But still a cool story nonetheless. We then went over to the most iconic bridge in the city. So we're currently walking along the bridge that was designed by the same guy who designed the Eiffel Tower and you can probably see the resemblance in the architecture. It's got probably the best view of the river and the buildings. And it's time to take along. a selfie. Oh selfie time. One second. And finally we came across the best restaurant in the world. Yes that's right the best. So behind us is the chain of restaurant. Well, it's actually voted the best restaurant in the world. Now it's three Michelin stars, which means it's very expensive. So if you can't afford to eat here, or you can't get on the waiting list, because the waiting list is about a year, they've actually opened a little ice cream shop where you can actually just grab an ice cream, and they even have Game of Thrones themed ice creams for all you Game of Thrones lovers out there. And with that, the walking tour is done. Goodbye. Thank you so much, Christian. I know yeah. you'll be watching this, so thank you so much because Without your help and without your enthusiasm for Girona, we would not have learned as much Absolutely. coming here. So. Very, um, we booked Christian for Guru Tours, who was one of the only English um, speaking guides. But And at the start we had it to ourselves and then yeah. two others joined in, which was great. Um, they were more Game of Thrones fans than us. Yeah, <laughs> probably helped a little bit. By far one of the best things to do in the city is to walk the city walls. Roughly three kilometres of the walls are walkable with stunning views of the city and the surrounding region. Naturally, Matt was fizzing about this, so we made our way to the starting point. Living the dream right now, guys. How cool is this? Centuries and centuries of history along these city walls here. Christian told us that Girona has been attacked 30 different times, and of those 30 times, I think it's been conquered seven. So invading armies only seven times. Not a bad ratio, so it's obviously a pretty strong defensive city and the people here are passionate enough to defend it. Can't say the uh, walls will be used again though, but they're here for you and I to walk along and enjoy. How cool is this, babe? Yeah, it's very cool. So we're on one of the uh, lookout towers now, just on above the city, the city wall. City wall. City wall. And you can see the Pyrenees Mountains, there's snow over there. You've got a view of the old town and the new city. Stunning, and with the cathedral there and all the historic buildings. This is why I love walking the city walls. So just behind me here, that's an old Roman toilet. No guesses for where the waste ends up. Oh, it's not very private. Excuse me, sorry. It is got a view though. It's done a view for a... Oh, stop! Oh yeah, that's a good one. Where we stop? 
We then finished our day off with a delicious Spanish lunch before making our way to the train station. Alrighty guys, another really scenic place to wrap up one of our vlogs. I mean we've had all of Girona Old Town and the city walls to do it, but we've chosen outside the train station. But it's been a busy day, so we are super happy with our trip here. Um, we've just ended on a nice lunch and yep. we're about to board our train. If you are in either Barcelona or neighbouring cities, please yeah. do make sure you put Girona on one of your day chuck trip it, lists. Chuck it to the top. Um, and I hope we helped you decide um, what to see and do. And if you want to see more from us, um, then make sure you do click that subscribe button and turn on the notifications for future videos from a couple of Kiwis. It means a lot to us guys. We're really loving the community we're building here yeah. and, and you know who you are. You guys are fantastic and we love you so much. We'll see you next time on A, A Couple, Couple of, of Kiwis. Kiwis. Yeah, no, definitely. Thanks for watching.